Hello, and this is a video review for the Local Subjects Transformers Vinyl Figures. You can see they come in a box, I've taken one of them out of the box because I got it and didn't think I'd be doing a review on them. So it's just a little foil packet, um, I know which one that one is, uh, spoiler alert, but I don't know what these two are, so you're going to find out in a bit and I'll try and focus on the logo as you can see, uh, my camera's not great, oh there we go, Local Subjects is in focus now. And you can see on the side you can see all the different characters like Bone Crusher, Trailbreaker, Scrapper, Rumble, Swoop. Um, on the back it shows some sort of rarity thing, I think, I'm not really sure. And there uh, you can see Blitzwing, Longhole, Wheeljack, Laserbeak and Sludge. Laserbeak looks pretty cool. Um, so this is the one I've already opened. And just play on the camera a bit, just make sure it's uh, set up. So with this one that's already been opened, let's have a look what's inside. So as you open the box you'll see this little foil bag and you've got to open it. So I pull it out, you can see, I doing things off screen, you can see there's like an accessory bag, and you can see the actual transformer that's inside, which in this case is sweet. You also get like a mini tech spec sort of looking card. Focus, come on focus, 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 yeah, you can kind of see it. Um, so I just open the accessories bag. No particular order for this, I don't think, so I'm just going to rip it. Haha. <laughs> okay, so you can see there's a peg here, and it kind of just attaches on the back. Is this the right way? Yeah, just going to have a reference, yep. Yeah. Ooh, that's quite cool. You actually put, um,. Dinosaur move part on his torso like that. That was actually detached and just put it on. And he's got a sword. Now, these things, like, they, they feel a bit cheap in some ways, but they also feel kind of nice in other ways. Um, you'll see there's like a lot of um, paint issues on it, if I can just focus on here. You probably can't see it too well on the camera. There's like just little bits of where the paint hasn't gone down too well. Aha, his mouth is a good one to show. There's the light of it. There we go. You can see on the mouth there's a little speck. Um, I mean it might not seem like much but you can also see it on the top of his head here as well. Um, so that, that's my biggest complaint about these so far is the uh, little specks of paint everywhere, um, where the paint's not gone too well, but if you paint transformers you could probably touch it up a bit, um, it depends if you want to though, um, I mean these look pretty cool, you can see on the bottom there's also markings, I'll turn autofocus back on, focus, oh, this, this autofocus is terrible, um, the reason I never use autofocus and if you do stop motion, you should never use autofocus. Oh, you can see this thing's come off as well. Like, you're probably not getting the best opinion of this so far, but aside from the paint specs, it's actually quite a nice figure where you can see, like, you can move his waist around. The only thing is the clearance on this doesn't, like, move all the way around, which you probably wouldn't want to anyway. You can see the arms here, um, they've got like a wrist joint and an arm joint, so it's quite poseable. Um, but obviously because of the blocky nature of the figures, it's tricky to do too much with it. Yeah, the head moves around, you can even move the legs as well. So, they are kind of a bit like the Mighty Mugs, except smaller and more poseable. And again, I mean the classic Mighty Mugs, not the new ones that have come out, the spinning head stupid stuff, they're, they're terrible. Anyway, um, let's open up the other two to see what's inside. So I'll try and do this on camera. Move this guy aside. You see, really kind of thin layer of glue. You open it up, and there's a foil bag. See, I've not opened these yet, so I'm going to be just as surprised as you are about what's inside, and a part of me thinks there's probably going to be two swoops. Which I'm hoping isn't the case, but let's see what's inside. Okay, I see a big... Ooh! Oh, that's quite a good one. Okay. So, 
another one of these cards with the tech specs on, but this is Laserbeak, and he's a very different one to Swoop already. I think he's the sort of special mold out of the bunch. Can you transform him? I mean, you get the sort of cassette stuff on the bottom side, and move it about. Can you transform these? Oh, and you can reposition these to be his feet. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, laser beak is actually pretty good. I mean, I think swoop's not too bad, but at the same time, like these things could probably be a lot better, but they could be a lot worse at the same time. Yeah, he can move his wings around, but then the, the fact that you can like kind of do that and it's like got printing on makes me think you can do some sort of transformation of these. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think it's just for show sure, really. But yeah, laser beaks actually. This is actually quite a, not a bad laser beak, especially with this sort of cartoony looking face and everything. Yeah, this, I, I quite like this laser beak. Oh, if I, if I can get him to stand up properly is another question. Okay, so you got his feet with a bit of clearance now. You can see him over there. He, he doesn't stand that well. Maybe he's like quite top heavy. Let's try again. Okay. He's slightly slanted. There we go. So a while back I wanted to do a series about um, reviews and do try and make them quicker than everyone else. You can probably tell by this video I'm not very quick at these reviews. <laughs> um, yeah, slightly bent I think. Oh! Because the back of them moves, okay. Yeah, you can see here they're on little like peg joints here. So it kind of moves like that and yeah, you can take them off as well. Not that you'd probably want to, but, um, oh, as you can see here, it's, I think when I was trying to pose it, it's got a moose, so I need to probably fix it up. So yeah, the, oh, and it snapped. <laughs> so I've broken the figure on a review. I mean, I could probably fix it up, but, uh, that's not a good sign. I mean, I basically got these on heavy clearance, so... If you guys can find them on heavy clearance, I'd recommend it. But yeah, laser beak. Um, he needs a leg fixing already, and I've only just got him out of the box. I find it's easier just to kind of open these bags off screen, otherwise I spend so much longer trying to do it. Okay. I'm gonna really grip these and ah, here we go. I've got an opening. Oh, and it's a uh, constructor con. Get his uh, parts out. Looks like it's bone crusher. Focus, there we go. Yeah, so you get quite a few parts in this little bag. Obviously done off screen because it's gonna be very fiddly to do on screen. You can see you get all these you get these three parts of them. Um doesn't seem like you could probably interchange these if you really wanted to as well. I'm not sure why you would, but Let's try and put these, I imagine this goes on his chest. That looks about right, and then you obviously put his gun on. And this probably goes on his back. But I'm not really sure on that one. Any instructions? No, no. Okay, so I assume this just goes on his back. Oh, okay. His uh, top of his head's starting to come off already. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's my advice: that if you do get any of these, um, get them on heavy clearance because I don't think they're worth paying 
much for because of how delicate they seem to be. Um, essentially, um, as I was moving the head around, you can see it's gotten kind of loose here. I mean, you can probably re-glue it. And basically, adding these extra parts on doesn't really give them much clearance either. Um, yeah, I just kind of got these because I thought they seemed unique and I thought I'd do a quick review on them. Overall, um, I'll put them all next to each other now. A broken laser beak. <laughs> Like, Laserbeak is probably the nicest out of the bunch, but he's got little pegs which connect his legs and they're very delicate. So yeah, if you get these it's up to you, but I'd say if you do get them, get them on heavy clearance and be very careful with them and not to break them on a review like I have. Anyway, hope you're all having a good day and let me know if you've ever heard of these in the comments.